Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Or to be precise, an update to my custom cloth tutorial. Cause I've heard some of you got problems when the cloth you imported from Genie is a bit more complex than a simple t-shirt. Today I'll show you a working solution to fix hopefully most of these issues. The first problem you run into after importing your custom cloth is that the materials have to be fixed to match the look you created in Jenny. You need to make most of the materials two-sided or in some cases the materials are translucent instead of opaque, so that's a quick fix. But sometimes there are missing textures. That's because Jenny stores the textures in a special way inside the FBX file. After you imported the FBX file the first time, Unreal Engine creates a folder next to the FBX. Here you'll find the textures. And because some of it got the same file name, they are stored in subfolders. But Unreal Engine doesn't work like that and overwrites existing textures with the same name during import. The result is you got multiple materials with the same texture. So you need to import the missing textures separately and bring them into the materials. Find out which material needs a different texture to make your outfit look like the one in Genie. And drag and drop the imported previously missing texture to all material nodes where the wrong texture was used. The next issue if the cloth you created in Genie is a little more complex and you convert the static mesh into a skeletal mesh using the MetaHuman base skeleton, this could happen. The skeleton is too low and do not fit the cloth asset. And if you add this mesh to your MetaHuman or try to create a proper cloth asset, it will not work. So here is an easy fix. Use the existing skeletal mesh and choose your combined metahuman mesh. Now the skeleton is at the correct place. Sometimes the cloth assets from Ginny have way too many triangles. I highly recommend to simplify them to an average triangle count between 50 and 150k before you transfer the weights. Sometimes it could happen that the MetaHuman cloth asset fails to generate skin data. So the wardrobe item is not resizable or got several skin weight issues after creating a wardrobe item. But you can use the skeletal mesh itself and add it to the assembled MetaHuman. Open up the blueprint, switch to the viewport tab Add a skeletal mesh component to the body and drag and drop your cloth to the skeletal mesh slot in the details panel. Compile and save. If you need to hide some body parts to prevent clipping, you can use the default garment with a body hidden face map that works with your outfit. After assembling, you can delete the default cloth mesh component inside the blueprint and create a new skeletal mesh component with your custom cloth. Ok, that's it for today. I hope you like it and I was able to help you with some problems. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!